Good evening and a very warm virtual welcome to all the students, parents and teachers from Hewish and our partner schools who've sent entries to this year's competitions. The purpose of this evening is to give us an opportunity as a college to celebrate the creative writing and design skills of some very talented young people. The Brunner Prize, celebrating the creative writing of pupils from our partner schools, was first awarded in 1995. It was set up with money left by, by writer John Brunner, a good friend of Hewish's most illustrious former pupil, science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke. The Lucas Cup was introduced in 2009 and, it is, and is a design competition on a set theme. The Ross Patterson Creative Writing Award for Richard Hewish students was set up in 2016 by Helen Evans in memory of her nephew Ross Patterson, a former Hewish student with a flair for creative writing. She and her friend Charlotte Pittman established the charity Get Home Safe after Ross's life was ended while walking home from a night out. Each year we select a different theme for our prizes. This year the theme was Generation, and the interpretation by our young writers and artists was certainly varied and inspiring, with wide-ranging entries from science fiction and dystopian futures to thrillers, gritty drama and poetry. The standard has been exceptionally high. I'm sure you'll agree with me that the work of our students and young people from partner schools is truly superb. Firstly, the Lucas Cup, our Creative Design Award. Please welcome Saffron Lee, Vice Principal for Curriculum and Quality, to announce the winners, starting with third place through to the winning entry. Linus's submission for the Lucas Cup is powerful and decisive. It warns an audience on one side of the need to protect and preserve nature or face a planet that is barren and uninhabitable. On the other side, the illustration suggests that there is hope, since every new generation will develop their own solutions to save this planet, or at least have the technology to leave the planet should we not be able to save it. Abandoning our planet is a stark message, rooted in reality, a deliberate message that encourages an audience to be thoughtful and reflective about their own actions and the impact that these actions might have on the planet and future generations. The illustration is effective in its communication, personal and original. Linus demonstrates great skills in realising an effective message while using software he's only just started to learn. A fantastic entry and a deserving third place for the Lucas Cup 2021. Tom has realised an original idea in a playful and fun way. His submission is beautiful, minimal and clever at the same time. The poster combines graphic and illustrative elements fluidly. Tom's created a design that an audience can find themselves a place in, a poster that offers many different ways to be interpreted. The poster demonstrates a careful and very effective balance of negative and positive space which seems to make the illustration float. Each aspect of the design has been carefully considered to deliver a meaningful message, from the words at the top of the image to the impact of the brush, the growing trees and the transition from countryside living to modern inner city life. Not one aspect is too much, not one too little. All elements of the design have their right and essential place to deliver a personal and highly skillful interpretation of this year's theme for the Lucas Cup. A fantastic entry and a deserving second place for the Lucas Cup 2021. Josh has created a memorable, effective and very thoughtful protest poster for the Lucas Cup. The poster delivers a thought-provoking message in a clear, engaging and highly effective way. He has applied the design principle of simplicity expertly here. A very clever disarray of letters at the bottom, which symbolise chaos, creates a fantastic juxtaposition to the organised display of the word generation at the top of the poster, really emphasising the problems our generation is facing. The increasing and growing wall of flames that seemingly engulf our generation further emphasises that we are heading towards disaster. Josh's poster does not offer any solutions, but it makes it very clear that our generation has to do something or be doomed. The poster can be understood by an audience to be about a wide range of challenges and problems caused by our generation and consequently that our and future generations will have to deal with. This makes the design an ideal poster that could be adopted by many political, environmental and economic causes. In the process of designing this poster, Josh created an alternative design which sees the flames become blue waves in front of black words on a white ground, in an instant creating a message that could easily apply to issues related to global warming. Josh has created a very versatile design here that demonstrates a maturity and understanding well beyond his age. A design that may well be remembered one day as a real classic representing our generation and the challenges we face. A design that deserves wider recognition and a clear winner 
of the Lucas Cup 2021. In the Bronner Cup, commended this year, are Alexis, Disha and Alexander from the Taunton Academy, Amelia, Henry and R from Heathfield Community School, Cody from Timberton High School and Emily from Courtfield School. Highly commended this year are George from the Taunton Academy and Samia from Heathfield Community School. In third place this year is a short story and inheritance written by Sam from the Taunton Academy. I had hit rock bottom until one night I got a call. It was my mother. I hadn't kept in touch with either of my parents during my career's height, but truth be told, I missed them. Sadly though, she had called to tell me my father had passed away. Not what I wanted or needed to hear. Either way, she begged me to come to his funeral and say my goodbyes. I knew I had to. I stitched together what little was left of my savings in hopes of being able to fly down there. The funeral was rather awkward, to say the least. Filled to the brim with spiteful people, angry at me for letting him and my whole family for that matter down. Some would have got up and left. Others who wanted to clear their conscience would stay and do good. I endured the rest of the event. The hateful glares, the spiteful snarls, all for my father. Albeit it was too late now, but I wanted to show I loved him. As the sun set, I was called over for the reading of the will. I didn't expect anything, which is why I was so shocked to hear my name. In second place, with her short story, is Maddie from Courtfield School. She sat completely and utterly still. Well, except for breathing, of course. She was still breathing. But the truth stood. That was more than some people in this building. She sat, quiet, calm, observant, although in her mind she wanted to scream. She'd rather be anywhere but here. But her mouth didn't move, no words came out. She simply sat there, the presence of the air conditioning noted, a mechanical breeze whirring, the hairs of her arms tingling, prickling up, a stiffness sinking into her body, discomfort painting her face. But she was pacing. And the winner of this year's Brunner Cup for creative writing with his poem Generation is Jack from Heathfield Community School. The judges were really impressed with the maturity and sophistication of Jack's poem, its striking imagery and complex historical theme. Many congratulations, Jack. Music of God, thunder through the church walls, frail bows on taut strings, dead flowers on the floor, manuscripts curled like the angels' wings, wrath of God through harmony as they sing. Violent rebellion from England to Spain, birth of the opera, paint on brush, blood on vein. The simple troon that tranced the king was that of gentle harp string. Classical, the golden era of music, larger canvases, more paint. Composers, ferocious, virtuosic. Complexions of melody, food to the heart, breath to the soul. Impossible to unravel until you hear its call. Generations of musicians, stacks of ink notes to send light into the darkness of men's hearts, to form a lump in their throats. Where words fail, music speaks in a world where life itself is bleak. And now for our final prize, the Ross Patterson Competition for students at Richard Hewish College. Get Home Safe sponsor the Ross Patterson Trophy and award the winner a prize of £100. The charity was founded following the tragic death of ex Hewish student Ross while walking home following a night out in Taunton. The charity's mission is to raise awareness about the importance of staying safe on nights out and having a plan for getting home safe. Helen, who unfortunately cannot join us this evening, has commented on the exceptionally high standard of this year's writing. So now to the winners. Starting in third place, for her poem, Generation, is Lauren. All this hurt and hunger, champagne socialism, chunky boots and vandalism, or all this deprecation you place upon our shoulders for your own petty insecurities. Let youth speak for youth, whether for needle and arm or rights to live. You had a chance to change, threw it all away. We have yet to be given a chance to give. Second place is awarded to Johanna for her poem, Inheritance. And a daughter grows up without a father, detached from society, and gets married when she's 17, because that's what you're supposed to do. 
And who was she to complain? She was lucky enough to find anybody knowing their name, and heaven forbid a girl with a brain and a voice to say no. She does what her parents tell her to do, because we didn't come all this way just so you could... My parents and I didn't come all this way just so you could pass a test. Look at your cousins and look at your friends. You're so lucky to be here. When I was your age, I had to... And the cycle continues forever. The winner of the Ross Patterson Trophy for 2021 with her short story Generation, a highly original piece mixing fantasy and science fiction, is Naomi. Our judging panel were particularly impressed with the sophisticated storytelling and world building, weaving a haunting narrative with emotive relationships and character development that read like a professional piece. Many congratulations, Naomi. The man has stopped singing. He watches me warily, but without fear. I open my mouth to greet him, but something hits me. I am mowed down. I am overwhelmed. I cannot... All I can feel is a dizzying sweetness of tangible life, of delicious warm juices, a desire, a lust for freshness, and I can hardly bear being so close to something so irresistible. I am filled with longing for his golden scent. I don't know what's happening. A silver cloud spills out of me, and I know what to do when the man's eyes dim. I suck every last drop of gorgeous syrup from his body, and I feel wonderful. I am so very happy. Then it is finished, and the man who was singing is lying on the road. He is only as dead as I am, or he will be when he wakes up. How do I know this? I look up and on the side of a decaying house, graffiti spells generation. I remember seeing it before. We hope to come into schools in the next few weeks to present certificates and for the winners to have a photograph with their trophy. We'll also have a list of all finalists and their work published on our website. So thank you to all the students who entered this year's competitions. You are all a real credit to your schools and college. I've certainly been impressed and inspired by all the fantastic entries this year. They set a really high standard and I'm already looking forward to next year's competition.